I've seen a lot of you that need to add Google authorization to your Bolt projects. So I just thought I'd make this video on how to add Google Auth to your Bolt projects. Let's get into it. Okay, so to get started here, we want to go authentication in our Superbase and go to sign in providers here. And all we need to do is find Google here. So where is it here? There it is now. So we click on that. And now we want to enable uh, the sign in with Google. So we need two things here. We need the client IDs and the client secret. So let's find out how to do that now. We go to console.cloud.google.com. I'll leave the links and other things you might need in the description down below. So this is what you need to do. You need to create a project, right? So I have one for this project that I'm working now, Viva Lingua. And we need to go to APIs and services and OAuth consent screen. Okay, so let's get started here. So for this, you just want to put in the name of your app. So my app is called Viva Lingua. And then you put in your support, your regular Google email in here. Okay, we want the audience, we want it to be external so other people can obviously um, sign up with their Google accounts. And then we just put in our contact information with which is our Google email again here. And then we say, I agree to the Google API services and continue. Okay, so now we are in the overview here and we want to create an OAuth client. So the application type here for me is a web application. Okay, so it's called Viva Lingua here. Okay, and we need to add some URLs here from our super base. So to find this, you wanna just go to setting, project settings and then data API. I've been using this uh, uh, URL a lot for Stripe and stuff. So just copy this one now. Okay, so I actually just went back into use the discussion mode. If you do get lost or anything like that, I think it's good to, especially with my user flow that I've already, you know, updated. I've already done uh, authentication and Stripe. So in this case, I don't want this to mess up anything. So I'll be using this discussion mode to make sure I get everything correct. Okay, so I also asked Bolt to give me the authorized redirect URLs. And now I can just uh, create my OAuth. Okay, so I asked Bolt and just clarified which ones I needed. So this is for the local development in the web uh, container of Bolt. And this is my production uh, callback here. So I just created my client ID now. I can copy in this and I can find my client secret here too. Okay, so now I just said, okay, I've enabled Google OAuth in Superbase. So can you add uh, a button uh, to allow people to sign up? Uh, I want a button here that will allow them to use Google and sign up for my product. So make sure everything works with the user flow, user authentication flow that we already have and payments. Okay, so Bolt went ahead and made a plan and we just need to implement the plan. All right, so I just wrapped up there. This is my product, by the way, Viva Lingua. It's to practice English. So I added the sign up with Google. I do find it, think it's super important uh, to actually do this now. People are pretty lazy and I just want everyone who gets to this page, right? I want them to sign up for my product just to try it, to see if it's for them or not. Okay, because I don't want anyone to be lost here or whatever, you know what I mean? So a couple of things I just missed really was in this uh, URL configuration, I forgot to add a redirect URL. So after they sign up, I wanted them to go straight to the app. So I wanted them to go there. So make sure you add that because Bolt uh, didn't really tell me that I had to add that. But And also you need to add your callback URL into the authorized redirect in Google, uh, this one here. So you need to add that in there. So I added a few more that I needed just in case I needed to get it done. So with that, I got it done. Uh, it works pretty well now. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with that because yeah, I just want people to sign up and use my product as much as possible. So I do have a course on bolt.new. It's probably like three hours or something in here of uh, me building out different uh, things with Bolt. I still have a few more that I want to do, including how to build out an AI SaaS. Uh, I've noticed that people are struggling a little bit with kind of uh, technical things like this. So I've learned a lot building the Viva Lingua. I've built this course platform as well in Bolt. Uh, so I just thought, yeah, I think maybe I'll add a few more technical tutorials more about Superbase. I've learned so much about Superbase. Obviously, there's just a lot to learn. I mean, just finding different things when problems arise in Bolt.new, right? And yeah, I think Superbase and Stripe are the kind of the two hardest things to do. But now once it's done, it's uh, it's all plain sailing. I'm into the marketing section of this app, right? So I'm pretty happy with the way that my app looks. Uh, it's, you know, it works well, it looks good, I think. So now it's just all about marketing. I'll definitely uh, be making videos about 
marketing tutorials. I'm going to make products in bold to market my products. Uh, well, in this case, this is the product that I'm obviously going to be marketing mainly. So subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like that.